something was tacked. This looks like uh, just a weave imperfection. Yeah. But we definitely have this crease right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And again, that looks like that hemline thing going on. Mm -hmm. I look at different things than Mackenzie looks at because she has been charged with making a reproduction of this dress. But one of the things that we both found from our own research coming into this project is that um, there are anomalies. This is this was not the first time around for this. Dress. No, she's this been is not a lot of balls. This is not a virgin <laughs> dress. And so now what we're doing is going back over it not only to recheck measurements for the reproduction, but to get more information to figure out what was what on this dress originally. I think this is a slug in the... Okay. See, I couldn't tell whether that was... I think prints. that's... No, I think that's, that's a slug in the... That if, if we had a corbolo hanging on there, it, when you unpick it, it might have pulled the... That's kind of what I was no, thinking. No, but there's nothing. But see, there's there's a fold here. And I, that this to me looks like an error in weaving. Okay. There's nothing else except though. Here's a here's a stitch. It's nice to have a collaboration on. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because you know you could spend a daydream in a corner happily. Right. But it's nice to have someone like this is. Am I thinking the same way? Which is kind of when we first met over this dress, what, two weeks ago? Three right. weeks ago? Yeah. It was like, oh my goodness, and look and look and look and look and look and look and look. And so right. it's it's a pleasure to have a collaborative effort on a really great gown. Right. In, in the time between I finished conserving this dress and two weeks ago, they found the sleeves to this dress, which are ori probably original to the 1840 version of this dress when Mary Chestnut first wore it. Right. So there's lots of information here that helps us piece together not only people's tastes, women especially, their taste in clothing and fashion, um, and how that changed, but that the whole social commentary and, and economic commentary about reuse of stuff, as well as then saying, wow, this is really cool dress and Mary Chestnut wore it. So yeah, it's just, right. you know, and, and then she wore it again and it continued to be worn at least into the, what, 1870s? I think so, yeah. Because of the additional changes that were made to the sleeves and other parts of the dress. So that's, we're trying to document that and sort out the periods at which some of this might have, these things might have happened.